Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, of course, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about something Disney related. I mean, okay, it's more specifically to a TV show, really, if anything. That's funny coming for me because I don't like, I don't care for talking about TV shows for the most part, really. But to be more specific, I guess, it has something to do with the princess kind of a thing. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm talking about something princess related again. And, oh boy, I've done quite a few of these videos as it is over time, I guess you can say. I've done this kind of thing over the years, and I, I know I, I seem to be doing these princess type videos on excess, an excessive amount recently. Um, and. Yeah, I, for the time being, I'm gonna be sticking to some of the stuff I've already seen, of course. But I guess to give you more of a context here is that I know a lot of people have been talking about given diversity, which in some ways I'm finding kind of confusing because just because a lot of these princess characters are light skinned doesn't necessarily mean they're all from the same country. I mean, okay, that seems oddly specific, but I'm pointing that right now because just because. Of that, it doesn't mean they are from the same country, and a lot of people assume just because a lot of these characters are light skinned, no, you shouldn't assume that. They're not all. A lot of these people assume that they are, just because they're light skinned, they're somehow all from the same country, which seems awfully close-minded and biased when you think about it. But okay, I guess more to the point is that they want more diversity. Yet when Disney actually brings certain characters from certain cultures it gets brushed to a side which I kind of find odd when I think about it when they actually do that but okay I mean nothing wrong with you know doing various stuff that's in itself is fine obviously but okay more more over to the point I want to bring up this character yep a land a land princess or whatever and that's cool that's great that's great use of red and yes, there's a reason for that. I know when it comes to, like maybe someone from Cuba or Mexican, they love to dress to impress, especially when it comes to their daughters and whatnot, which is fine. But of course, there is a difference between being, you know, Portuguese, um, or Venezuelan, Cuban, or Mexican, so on and so forth, or in Spaniard. Yes, Spaniard is a thing. So, I know a lot of people don't know that because the, a lot of people would assume that if you're Mexican, you know, they are every single one of these in the, uh, countries are the same. Which, of course, is mainly ignorant when you think about it. But, yeah. They actually made a Hispanic princess, of course. But I, f I don't see how a lot of people talk about this. And not, it's not really repeated in the news and whatnot. So, when people want to criticize. Disney for not bringing enough diversity. They don't bring up the, the show I just, you know, with that one character I just brought up. They don't bring up that character up really, like, hardly at all. We just thought it was kind of confusing, considering the fact that how can you be wanting to have more diversity, but yet you don't look at, at what they already done? So that seems odd. Really odd to me. So it's just something I found strange. It, it's, uh, they already have these kinds of characters as it is. It's already there. I mean, yes, there's nothing wrong with ha wanting to have more. That in itself is fine. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. But how can you be critiquing something where you don't actually do your own studies? Is what I'm getting at. It just seems kind of weird. So yeah, they already introduced this type of character, of course, and whatnot. So, yeah. And that's the thing, folks. It's fine to have this character be added to the prince's line of characters and whatnot. I don't see. I don't. I don't see why not. These characters are supposed to have their own background and interest, and you know, so on and so forth. Anyway, when you think about it, especially when they're well done. So, I can say that's definitely a plus in where they're from. And what, in some ways, irritates me is that a lot of people claim that Moana is the first. Land princess? Are you serious? She's Hawaiian, not Latin. I mean, how how do you get that wrong? That's confusing. But anyway, so this is something I want to bring up for I guess for a moment, and obviously I appreciate anybody actually for looking, obviously. 
since I've already made a truck ton of these types of videos, as I mentioned earlier, especially at a recent time, I guess you can say. Uh, I guess in this video, according to this little side thing here, folks. Yeah, I've not seen this entirely because as I mentioned before, I'm not really a TV watching person, really, like at all. But yeah, uh, that's the thing. I guess to be more precise, when it comes to land, yes, it's very gender specific. I guess in this case, I should say Latina, a Latina princess, I should say. But yeah, I mean, and of course, when it comes to the language as well, uh, the meaning of these words, of certain words, may differ when it, com uh, when it comes to certain things. It, it may be in one place, like in Mexico, it may, something may seem, may seem like one meaning, but then you go to Cuba and say the same word, maybe it's a different meaning, it might be referring to as something completely different. One thing might refer to paper, but then maybe it could be said somewhere else and made, I mean, cake, you know, that kind of a thing. It's kind of tricky for some people, if you're not familiar with this kind of a thing. And, of course, there's other places like Guatemala, or, uh, I don't know if people of Portuguese have their own, you know, dialect as well. But, yeah, this can be rather tricky when you think about it, of course. When you, But, you have to study anyway, do some study work. But just because the, all these characters are Hispanic doesn't mean they're going to act all, all alike, obviously. And they're going to have their own dislikes, their own likes, their own favorite thing, what's their favorite color, do they have a favorite author, and yada yada yada. Just treat them like any other character, of course, and give them their own, you know, personality, make them so they're well written. And maybe they can fight a, a dragon, or maybe, let's say... Maybe a wizard, or I don't know. Uh, the opportunities are endless. So, like I said, a Latina princess. I guess if I want to be more pronounced, pronounce it right, a, a Latina, to be more exact, because that's referring to a woman. But yeah, yes, even if she's much younger, or whatever, or even if older, or middle age, or whatnot. And maybe that could be something you could bring into the movie somehow. For what purpose, I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, have a make it exciting, of course, obviously. You know, human beings are they're they're sorts of creatures. At least most of us, anyway. And everybody has a story to tell. Maybe about a crazy friend or a relative, or maybe a crazy job experience you want to talk about. You know, or maybe something about high school, or maybe a college or university of some kind about some good old times, or maybe you had a bad medical school experience, or you know, or maybe that's a favorite teacher you like, In, anyway folks, just, you could always go on and on, but anyway, of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care, until next time, see ya, oh yeah.